Today's question comes from Stephen Sachs. In WebStorm, is there a way to map a key command to create a new file of a specific type so I don't have to choose afterwards? Great question. Let's uh, look into something called file templates. So I have this grunt file here, a typical grunt file, actually the sample grunt file, which I want to use and create later through some sort of key command um, because when I just want to create a file here, I don't have grunt file as an option or any any sort of custom file as an option, They're just the defaults there so far. So what I'm gonna do is go up to tools and uh, with this file selected, tools, save file as template, or actually what I do is control shift A, which brings up the action uh, searcher and just type a uh, save file. That's how I find everything. I never look in the menus anymore. Uh, so control shift A, save file as template. Hit enter. This will name the file or the template a grunt file with an extension of JS. So whatever file type you want to create, if it's TypeScript for TS or anything, you could change the extension here. Um, and this is just the name of the template. It'll prompt you to change the name of the file when you actually create it. So now I have this as a file template. Hit apply. And next time when I go to create a new file, Alt insert is the new file dialog or uh, right click new. You can see that grunt is an option. So I'll hit grunt, go to a file name of uh, grunt file, hit enter, and you can see it created a new grunt file with these as options. Now the, or with, with just the template populated. Now the power tricks here is that the file templates are actually velocity templates. So the quickest way to get back into your file templates is just control shift A and type file templates. Um, or just go up in the file settings. You can navigate to it that way. But I will look at our grunt template here. And for example, I don't always want that to be the grunt sample task. I want to customize it to a different task. So if I put in a variable here of task, this is actually a velocity template. So I can do some velocity logic and say, if task is not equal to nothing, then don't load it. Uh, don't write it out, but if it is, then write the name of it. So if I hit apply, you can see that if I do a new grunt file here and type, let's call it foo, the task we bar, hit OK, you can see it populates with grunt bar. But if I do grunt uh, foo2 and I don't put a task name in there, hit OK, it's not going to write that out because I wrapped it in side of a if conditional. So if the task was not there, then don't write it out. If it is there, then write it out. You can see there's a lot of power there with velocity templates and it'll prompt you for any of the variables that you include in your file templates. So that's where you make any sort of custom template and uh, for any sort of custom extension, just uh, change it in here. Uh, I'm sure you can see the power in this and just uh, go have fun with it. Uh, little other pro tip here, if you're working in the same directory, you're just gonna be creating a bunch of files. Um, a quick way to get to that dialog is just Alt Home will take you to this navigation bar, then Alt Insert will pop up the new file uh, pop up inside of that directory. So if you're working in that directory, you can just go hold down Alt and hit Home Insert, it'll pop it up, then GR for Grunt, hit Enter, and then you can create a new uh, Grunt file as quick as that. So just Alt Home Insert and GR, and then you're creating new files that quickly with uh, uh, variable dialogs and things like that to populate your template with. There you go, power tip of the day.